So the first thing that you need to do on your calculator is you want to change the mode. Right now it's set up in function mode. We need to change it to parametric equation mode. So if I go and I hit the mode button, you'll get this screen. If you scroll down to where it says function, and then you move the cursor one space to the right, that is for parametric equations. Now I'm recording this, you can watch it later on TeacherTube if you want. Once that's highlighted, hit enter. Now if I hit the Y equals symbol, because that's where we enter in our functions, what I can do, what, it changes. I have X equals a number, or X equals something, Y equals something. Now parametric equations is a way for us to use two equations to graph on the Cartesian plane. In other words, X and Y are dependent on a third variable, T. So in example number one in your textbook, we are told that X is equal to T squared. So I'm just going to write this down, and we're just going to learn how to plug it into the calculator first. So uh, for example number one in your textbook, we are told that X is equal to T squared, or the square root of T, and Y is just equal to T. Now to enter that in your, your calculator, what you want to do is you would just go to x equals and then just do the square root button like you normally would and then when the button that says that we normally hit for x you would just hit that and now it changes it to the letter t okay then close the parentheses come down to the next one and then i'm just going to hit this button there's a, the button says x t uh, theta and n so when you're in parametric mode, whenever you hit that button, it'll by default go to T. Right? Now, if I hit graph, there's a couple of things I want to do. Um, I can do the table set. One last thing about parametric equations, we could set the parameter for T. So it's, it's um, we want T, in this particular case, T has to be larger than or equal to zero. So to set that, I would hit second table set. And I would want to start my table at zero. All right, and then I'm going to count by one. Does that make sense? Now, if I do that and I hit graph, oh. Let, let me turn off a couple things. We've got some stuff on here. So let's turn off the plots if you guys have that on. That's from yesterday. And then for my zoom, I'm going to go to the standard zoom. Okay. What does that look like to you guys? It's like a half of a parabola, okay? So now, if it's a half of a parabola, that could usually be represented by what function? Yeah, y equals x squared, right? So this is the actual homework. How do I make this look like y equals x squared? So to my left, all this stuff, this is the parametric equation stuff, right? That's parametric. How do I make the parametric look like the Cartesian? <coughs> well, it's simple. We, 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 we use a system of equations. So we say that y is equal to t, right? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this here how can I make how can I make that how can I make this in particularly look like t what would I do to that equation square. square it so if I say x is equal to the square root of t and I square this side and I square this side then I get x squared is equal to t, oh, t is really y. but t is y so then if I plug this in for t I get y equals x squared 
Fahrer. 